Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. It's Ahmed again, A to Z Auto Masters. Today we got this 2009 Honda Accord with a V6. Uh, came in with an oil leak. It's so obvious it's coming from the valve cover gasket. So uh, today we'll show you how to do a valve cover gasket on a V6 uh, Honda Accord. And as always, please don't forget, if you learn anything from my videos, if you think my videos were helpful, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. So in those cars, because it's V6, you have two valve cover gaskets. You have the front one and you have the back one. Usually the front one is always easier in, uh, in most cars, in the V6 cars. The back one usually harder because you have to remove the intake manifold. So we'll see how this job will be done. So we're gonna start by removing the air intake. We're gonna disconnect all the harness, remove all this harness from here. Ignition coils, and we're gonna have to uh, pull this intake manifold out of the way. These are size 10. These are all also size 10. Take this hose clamp out and this one out. Okay, guys, so it's time to take that manifold out. Uh, we only taking the 12 millimeter, leave all the tens in place. We're only taking the 12 out. Now we just connect these two cooling line goes into the throttle body. And again, we can use another one for the bottom hose. Just like that. Now this manifold is completely out. Just connect these coils. Disconnect that timing solenoid here. That oil pressure sensor. And we have this harness here, hold up by 10 millimeter bolt. push and then lift up. I'm gonna dis disconnect the battery for now. Just take this negative terminal out. So we can take this alternator power line off. That's also size 12. There's a lot of 10 and 12s in those cars. Whole Hondas. Here you go. So now we have this harness. If you want to unplug the AGR valve, move it even further, we can do that. Now we can disconnect the ignition coils and pull them off. These are also size 10. As you guys can see, the leak is really bad in the front here. Let's remove that gasket and clean up this mess here. We have silicone on both corners here that need to be cleaned up. So now we have this nice and clean. We're gonna 
replace the gasket, put a couple drops of silicone on the corner here and uh, reinstall. Okay guys, so my camera cut out when I was removing these seals. We're gonna show it back on the, the other side of the valve cover. I was using this pry tool and just popped them all out. And now we're using SOC 29 to drive them back in. And it's gets a, get a socket almost the size of the seal. Basically make sure it's sitting flush all the way around. Just like that. Now it's time to take this out. Watch out, don't cut your fingers. It should be easier to fit in because the rubber is uh, soft. And now we can use uh, RTV silicone on these two corners here, here, and down here. That's basically it. You don't need to put any more silicone anywhere else, just the two corners. Line up those uh, spark plugs tubes here and push down okay so we have two short ones that go up top here and the other three are all long always put these bolts by hand before you put any tools on them so you don't cross thread the, uh, the threads on the head now we're just going to snug these bolts down and these bolts should be torqued to uh, 12 newton meter which is 8.7 foot pound okay so this side is basically done uh, after the job is completely done, we're gonna spray some cleaner here and clean this oily mess. Here, these go back in the same location. One, two, and three. Okay, so now this is done. It's time to do the, the little bit harder one in the back. I would like to get this out of the way. These are size 13. Now we get this out of here and remove the whole bar out. Now we get a lot of space in here. I want to start by taking the, the 10 millimeter bolt here that holds this power steering line in place. So we can move this line out of the way. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the ignition coils. I'm just gonna loosen all of them out.
and then we have two 10 millimeter bolts that holds that harness bracket in here we have one right here and we have one right here and again here we're gonna disconnect the oil pressure sensor for this side and the solenoid okay guys so in the back here we got this one plug here just like the front one to take out right here and we have one right here we need to take these two out and now I'm gonna start taking these bolts out again Sometimes it's a good idea to stuff some paper towel or rags in here so nothing falls inside. That's the good, the right thing to do. If you're confident nothing gonna fall in here, you should be fine. And of course, same thing here. We're gonna clean up this area and take the silicone, old silicone out of the corners. And now we're gonna jump back on this one. Same exact thing we did with the first one. With this side, we're gonna have to be very careful putting it back because it's very tight and the gasket can move out of place. If you're not sure, you can put a little bit of uh, weather stripping yellow glue in here to hold it in place. Okay, time to put the couple drops of silicone here and we're ready to go. So I made sure this corner is clean. Now I'm gonna use the mirror to put a drop of silicone here. There we go. Just like that. Make sure the gasket is sitting in place. And now it's time to put these bolts back. This time we have three short ones. The all in the front here and the two longer ones are in the back. And of course it's the same torque like the front. Make sure you plug everything back the way it was. That's it. The intake manifold goes back, connect everything and it should be good to go. And now we have to put everything back. We start from the middle out as always. So all these 12s have to be torqued down to 22 uh, newton meter or 16 foot pound. And now this cover is 12 newton meter 
or 8.7 foot pounds. At this time, if you want, you can do an oil change in the car, change the oil, and uh, you should be good to go. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe.